Hey everybody, PC Wizard here. Welcome back to episode number five of my Feed the Beast Minecraft mod pack series recorded live on the Team Raven server. Alright, so last time we left I told you I was going to be working on Thalmcraft today. And that's a little bit, definitely a little bit of what I'm going to be doing and that's how we're going to start. So this is my Thalmcraft room that I've created. So... Lots of aesthetics here, lots of aesthetics. Um, these are Zycraft um, structure blocks. Don't know what they're going to be used for ultimately, but right now they just look really damn cool. So, you see this little area I got here, kind of this indent here? This is for something I'm going to work on first. And one of the things with Thomcraft is you got all the aspects that get used for creating various magical items and, and you know, gets cast off in the atmosphere. Well, there are Thomcraft items that allow you to capture these and store them. And that's what I'm going to be doing in that area. I'm going to be storing a lot of that stuff. Um, and that's So I've got a whole bunch of glass I've been making. And we need to work on turning this into warded jars. And it's going to be an arcane wood block and glass panes. All right. So in order to make the arcane wood block, we need uh, we can do it with regular wood logs or great wood logs. And I actually have a whole bunch of great great wood logs that we're going to use for this. So let's start off making these. And then we're going to need the glass panes for them. And where did I store my wand? There we go. Alright, so I can probably do this on either table. Let's try it over here see, just to see if it works. Yes, it does. Alright, so I can do... I need 22 of these. Let's do six batches of them. If I do a shift right click on that, there we go. We got them all. And my wand will recharge its, its energy. Now we need to get the glass panes. I need to do um I don't remember. Let's try about six. I have a feeling that may be too many, but there's gonna be other things I need glass panes for as well. Alright, so we're gonna have an arcane wood block and then the glass panes all around. I need twenty twenty two of these, so oh wow. I vastly underestimated this. All right, so I actually need 22 in each stack. So we are quite short. All right, so I definitely need to get more glass panes. Let me go grab those and be right back. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and drop these in here. And we should be able to get... Oh, we only had 20. Not enough charge in our wand. So let's just give this a second and let it charge back up. So we got the first 12. Now we need... Yep. There we go. 22 jars. Now, I could go place these, but before I place them, there's one other component that I need, and that is these markers. Now we get two out of each recipe. So we need 11 of them, so we're going to have to make six recipes. So let's go ahead and I want these to be purple for these markers that I'm making for this part. And let's see. F 
four of these like that. Yep. And the wool in the middle. And there's my markers. All right, let's get these placed. And that's what this recess is for. We're going to put the markers right down in the center here. Uh, do I have an axe? There we go. An axe is probably going to work a little better. Yep, there we go. Put that in there and we don't need this one all right so we got the markers placed and now we're going to put the jars down just like that all right now what's going to happen is the um, essence that gets left over is going to end up getting stored in these now in order to get it there we need to capture it and bottle it up and move it over so in order to do that we're gonna have to use Alembic jars and you can see what those are in the thermometer um, they are let's see there's it's your warded jar under flux research here we go Okay, right here. Uh, the Arcane Alembic is what it's called. And so we're going to make some of these. And we can put one on each side of a cauldron. And we need a flux filter on each one to create them. So I am going to grab the materials we need and get ready to make these. Okay, I think we're ready to get started here. Now, if we look at the basic flux re flux research we're going to see infusion alter which we need to make because that is part of the arcana alembic all right so we're going to make one of these first now i need four of these but i'm going to make them one at a time and you'll kind of understand why as i go along um, it's because of these aspects that i need to include in here so what I need is I need a silver wood log and two gold nuggets and then purus and permutatio. So let's start over here with a silver wood log and two gold nuggets. So we need eight purus and eight permutato. All right. And I know the seeds will give us the uh, permutation one however it is you say it. Now you can see these aspects right up above the cauldron because I'm wearing the special goggles of revealing. And these show me the magical energies in the area. So then the magical, the aspects that I've created. So right now we have four. We need eight. All right, there's eight of those. And then we need the uh, permutato, which we need eight of those as well. These have two each, so we want right. So we want four of these. All right. So you, right now you can see all this other, all these other aspects that are in there that are going to get released in the atmosphere when I make this. Oh, I put the oh I put the wrong thing in there. No wonder it didn't make sense to me. All right, that one I get from actually Silverwood logs. Oh, this is going to make a huge mess in the atmosphere. Yep, this is going to make a big old mess. All right, so there's one of those. And so that right now dropped the aura in the area, and that's going to recharge. Um, and also have a very high level of flux. So what's going to happen is things like wisps and stuff like that are going to start spawning. And they that can get very, very, very dangerous. All right, so let's create the first 
of these jars that I need. Um, it's going to be one brewing stand, one warded jar, one flux, and two gold. I believe that's all it is. But uh, it appears I am missing something. What am I missing here? Okay, we got that one. Oh, it's three gold. There we go. One more gold over on this side. There it is. All right, so now we need vitreous, aqua, uh, and aura. So I know that aqua and vitreous, I can get those from uh, glass water bottles. And I actually need eight of those, right? Oh, and I need water. Uh, let's see, so many things here. Let's go ahead and just set those down, get them out of my inventory. Grab a bucket of water. Get that put in there. Alright, now we need to put these in there. Now, like I was saying, the advantage with these is that they only have the aspects that I need. So there's not going to be any residual side effects of using these. Now, they're not necessarily cheap because, you know, it is the... I am using up a glass bottle. Just trying to do this. But in the long run, it's... You know, it's better for the atmosphere right now because I don't have any way to store the um, the extra flux that would go into the atmosphere. And I need two more. So down the road, when I'm able to store flux, um, it's not going to be as big a deal. How what items I use to create things. All right, so let's drop these two in there. All right, there's the eight of each of those. And now I need, uh, which one was it? Is it the vitreous I need now? No, the aura, which is feathers. Yep, so I need eight, so I need to use four feathers. And there we go. That puts everything I need in there. So now that gives me one arcane Olympic. Now I can take this, right click it on the side of a cauldron, and what it's going to do is it's going to act like kind of like a vacuum. It's going to suck up one, one type of aspect that's not used for whatever I'm making. So now when we look at this, we need to make another one. We need to make three more of these, but if we look at making just one more. So I need eight seeds and eight of the crystal water, which is found in the silver wood. All right, so let's get eight of those put in there and four of those. All right, now I've got three extra aspects here that I'm not going to be using. Unfortunately, I don't have a means to capture all of those right now. But I am able to capture one of them. I don't believe there's any way to control which one you capture. Um, but I can remove it from there with files. And so for those I need a piece of clay and three pieces of glass. Let me go make these, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Um, so I have the glass files now. Now if I right click on the Arcane Alembic with the glass file, I will scoop up eight of the aspect that are stored in there and put them in the file. Now I can store the file in a chest or whatever I want to do with it, or 
I can put it over here in the warded jars. By storing the essence in the warded jars and keeping them right in the area here, if that aspect is needed for a recipe, it will automatically get pulled from the, the jars in whatever quantity is actually needed. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead now and make the remaining three arcane alembics that I need, but I'm going to make them one at a time again. And as I make each one, I will add it to the cauldron so I can continue to grab as many stray aspects as possible. Um, you know, I don't want to waste any more than I need to, and it also helps me kind of put it in the bank, so to speak, for, for use later on. So let me go ahead and get that done, and I'll be right back with you. And now for our next piece of the puzzle here. First thing I need is, I need to make two nitor, and the two nitor are going to fit right in the center of this. So to make nitor, you do it just in the crucible. I need, uh, let's see, I believe I need eight of those, but let's just double check. Nitor is up here, right there. Yeah, six. All right, six Lux, and then six Potentia, and six, four Potentia, four Ignis. So I need two of these, though, so I need 12 Lux. And I've got six in there now, so let's drop another six. All right, and charcoal will give me the Ignis M Potentia that I need. And I needed how many of those? Four of each, so I need eight. It's right there, all right. So now if I hit this with my magic wand, that's going to give me the two nitor that I need. We're going to take the nitor, put it in the center of these bricks, and now I need modus and apirato, which I can get both of those from rubber. So I need eight for each recipe, and each gives me two, so I need to put eight pieces of rubber in here along with water. Okay, like that. And there we go. You may have noticed earlier that occasionally you'll see these little bubbles flying from the cauldron over to the table, the infusion altar. Uh, but you're not seeing any right now. But if I put my wand in the table, now it's going to show these bubbles coming across. And those bubbles represent each aspect required in the recipe that has been fulfilled. All right, so now we, we have two basic golem cores. But one of them, I am going to step up and make it a uh, speed. Because uh, I want this one to work a little faster. So let's grab that bucket of water that we need. Right there. Drop that in there. And now we need six rubber in there. Totally missed the bucket. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and we can grab this Golem Animation Core of Speed. Now the next thing we need to have is tallow. Well, okay, actually the next thing is water back in here. Alright, so we need to make, because what we're going to make is um, tallow golems, which they are right over here. And uh, these are great for thaumatic research. So what we need is five tallow for each of them, so we need to make ten tallow. If we look up here, each tallow is four corpus. So I need ten of these, so I need forty corpus which it 
good source of corpus is meat. In this case, we're going to take the rotten flesh. And 10 of them will give us the 40. All right. And again, we're going to take the wand and click directly on the crucible, which gives us the tallow. And now we can work on placing this in here. Start with the basic golem, and we need Victus and Animus. And so, okay, let's get those filled in. All right, so we need, we set eight of each of these. Now, Victus, we get two out of each apple, so we need four apples put in here. And then eight pieces of soul sand. All right. And now when do you put the wand on here? This gives us our first tallow golem. Now I need the same one, but first of all, we're gonna go ahead and set this guy down. We're actually gonna click on the cauldron. So you can see he kind of ends up stuck in here. Let's kind of push him out of the way. If we right click on him, it's going to say, if you give me a bucket master, I shall keep the crucible filled with water. All right, let's give him a bucket. And now he needs to go get it. Now he knows, he can sense that there's water over here, but you can see this little uh, piece down here. That's a marker. And I've got it set to white. So what I want to do is set him to white just so he knows to go over here. You know, just in case there's ever any question for whatever reason. All right, so now I need to make the next golem. Now these will hold 16. Now I'm going to be using the same ingredients, so I'm going to be adding the same items into here. So we've got plenty of room for it. So we're going to just go ahead and add the ingredients. We need. We need eight of those and four of these. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and take this fast towel golem out of there. And then with him, we're going to click on one of these Olympics. And now it says if we give him glass files, he will empty them for us. And just so we have this set correctly we're going to set him to purple because that's the markers I put underneath all those jars. Now what we need to do is actually give him a source of for the files. So we're going to go ahead and place a chest. Let's go ahead and drop it right down in here and it should work fine. I need to actually put those in there, don't I? Let's keep one out just in case he doesn't see it. So I'm probably going to need to put a marker by that chest as well. But you can see now he's going to empty them. Yep, he needs a marker for the chest so he knows where it is. So we'll go ahead right behind the chest here and drop that and now he can find it and this is why I put him on fast because he's gonna have to make trips back and forth for each each time we use this but now see there's only four modus in there or whatever that one is I can't remember the names of these and four of those so he can't do anything with those because they can only be withdrawn in quantities of eight. So I can look through my items and uh, find something to fill these up with. 
but it's going to be a trick to kind of try to balance everything. So I might do that off camera and just see what we get. But you get the basic idea of it that now these are all going to be stored over here. And I will work on finding a recipe that's actually going to utilize some of what we already have stored over there. Um, what do we have? Uh, we have a Pirito over there. Don't really need that. But we'll save that for another episode. And I think at this point we're probably way over a, a reasonable time limit for this. So I'm going to have to do a drastic amount of editing and cutting this down. So hopefully when you see this, it hasn't been too overly long. I hope you've learned something or at least been entertained by my foolery. I am PC Wizard. Thank you very much for watching.